Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to What's Up 357. It's Friday night, RGT Friday, and we've chosen a magic road. And there are two reasons that, reasons that tonight's race is particularly special. Firstly, the route we've created replicates the last 11.1 kilometers of the in real life ride we did up the simply stunning Cairno Mount in Scotland, which happens to be exactly a year ago that we did it in real life. So we get to do it again. The course itself is relatively flat, few little bumps up and down uh, until the last three and a half kilometers, I think it is. And then it's an absolute arse, straight up. But I've let it run on just a little bit longer. So we've got a, a tiny drop and a bit of flat, or is it a bit of flat and a tiny drop? Anyway, just so that there's a chance to sprint for the line once you come over the crest. The second reason, look what I'm wearing, both in real life and in-game. RGT have made this beautiful in-game kit for us, and it looks absolutely wicked. It's lighter than this one, purely because they have a lot of dark and black kits in there, so we deliberately went for a, a lighter shade of jade, and oh my god, I'm talking! And the race is going. <laughs> oh, what did he ask? That was already waved to me. Bloody hell. That's not the first time I've been caught on the start line chatting. Oh, Christ. I'm going to have to put some, put some watts out now, aren't I? Oh, nasty little bends. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's down to me. I'm supposed to iron those sort of things out. Let's see if I can just get hold of the bunch. I don't want to be doing 320 watts. For too long. Who's that in front of me? Mr. Trilk. Good man. Right. Can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, made the jerseys a little bit lighter. Whew. To distinguish them from the other dark jerseys in game. And I bloody love it. I'm so pleased. Alright, I'm staying with this bunch now because I haven't got the legs to chase that other lot. Oh, I thought this bit was flat. 3.9%. Oh, I've got no cadence showing either. Right, I'm going to stop talking, fix my cadence, try and get myself back into this race. I do not remember this 4.5% section. No wonder I struggled so badly on the main climb, if this is what we did before it. Okay, I am currently riding with Maria Trilk just behind me. Catherine Denton, just in front of me. Dee Sawway, Sawway, just a little bit further back. Uh, I can see Darren Smith, a few hundred meters up the road. Great to see you, Darren. Kev's in here somewhere as well. Up front, we got Jay Paraday, Dee Koditz, Brian Roden, and S. Bellio flicking around with Giles Blundred. I'm pretty sure John, by the way, is up there as well. Paul Nichols, Pickles, just ahead of uh, Paul Trilk. So right now just behind Paul Trilk, a further 12 metres up the road from me. <laughs> Sorry about that message that just popped up on the screen. A very belated. Father's Day gift that I sent to my dad. Obviously just arrived. <laughs> oh man, I'm well out of this. I'll try and run through the, uh, the rider list. So we have Harry Danes, uh, I believe, <laughs> uh, to Toffoli. Roden, Bellio, by the way, Blundred, Jackson, Cadiz, Oxuzoglu, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, Allsop, Kev Stevens doing well, Darren Smith right behind him, uh, Emmanuel Person, D. Graham, Keith D. the Hoff, followed by T. Hoffman, interestingly, Mr. Grasso. John Grasso sneaked in here, I didn't see that. Great to see you, dude. And then Paul Nichols, Paul Trilk, myself, 
Catherine Denton, Maria Trilk, and Dee Sorway. There's a lot more hills than I remember. Oh. Remind me never to go to Scotland again with Kev, Darren, Jason, Peter, Sean, Neil. It's far too hilly. <laughs> Pickles is warning everyone that I'm plotting an attack on the hill. Have you ever seen me race, Paul? You know, even if I say I'm saving something for an attack, that attack is usually maybe an extra 2% of power for 15, 20 seconds at best. I will give you a go though. But which hill? Look, there's a bastard hill coming up now. Oh. I'm still feeling the time trial in my legs from yesterday, to be perfectly honest. That was a very high paced race for me. That team time trial, it always is. And then obviously I had to do 27 press ups in the garden today, which has broken whatever the muscles are that go kind of underneath your armpits. Obviously that shouldn't be a major factor here, but it is when I get out of the saddle. Uh, also, I think it's managed to somehow retain the heat in here that everyone else seems to have managed to lose overnight. Extra sort of 10%, 10 degrees, sorry, that's dropped. It's not dropped in here. So I've definitely got it harder than every other one of you on course. Trust me. <laughs> Is Mr. Grasso. So good to see you. It's a real pity because I'd love to do full side by side footage on this video with the real climb. But I can't actually find the video of the entire climb that I did. I've obviously got the bits I've edited for a vlog, but not the, uh, not the full climb. So I'd love you guys to be seeing the scenery that we're looking at here. Even before we get right up in the hills, it's just drop dead gorgeous. And the highlight was actually this really lovely cafe restaurant at the foot of Kerno Mount. Like a little brook and a bridge that went over it. It was just beautiful. Place to sit and eat, eat a sandwich with friends. Really good. As brilliant as this is, all we get is the pain. John's definitely waiting to give me a wheel. What a legend. All right, that looks like a very severe climb coming up ahead. So maybe I got my maths wrong. Maybe it's not the last three and a half kilometers. It looks like it's the last five and a half kilometers. <laughs> it just goes straight up. It's actually looked familiar now. You've got this little sting here. I think it's about 16, 15, 16%. And then it levels off about 8 or 9%, I think. And just keeps going. Oh, 24.5%. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure it quite gets to that. But I do remember Kev saying to me if you've got some momentum on that leading, use it to slingshot you over the top of that, that bump. Maria's turn the afterburners on. 3.9 watts per kilogram, 140 uh, meters behind me. Uh, I think I'm going to lose this race outright. So I think Sawe has saved himself very well as well. with me. <laughs> Great stuff Maria. It was inevitable. Oh, 
when 9.3% feels like a rest. Let's saw away, just less than 50 meters behind me now. Maria's shot off, John's still close by. Up front we've got Paraday, Cadiz, Blundred and Bellio, sorry, the top four. Ah, John's just playing with me, evil man. Here comes Solway. Ah, oh, see this is the point where I thought the, the climb was going to start with about 3.7, 3.6 to go. We've already been climbing forever. <laughs> Solway saying that's his whole race right there. <laughs> Coming back from last. Well done dude. the front guys <laughs> as pickles curses me in the chat um, I was gonna say it looks like Perp Harry Day Parado very close to finishing just a few hundred meters Cadiz a couple of hundred behind uh, Blundred further 600 behind I think and Bellio again another six seven hundred So it looks like, uh, I don't know if the one that came through first was Cadiz or if the other one's logged out, but we've got Cadiz, Blundred, Bellio, Gran, Toffoli, Roden, by the way, all up there. I'm being dropped again. We're kind of caught close back in on Maria. I just can't keep a, a consistent pace. And I know it gets harder in a minute. See where that little right hand switch back is. It goes around there, a very high gradient, then back round to the left, at an even higher gradient before we get to the top, I think. All right, Giles Blundred's finished, or rolling over the finish, which means Cadiz definitely has. I think Bellio and Toffoli also have. And Roden. I think John, by the way, is the next one to come to the line. Followed by Oxuzo Blue. So Brian's done. John, by the way, uh, he's right there, 200 meters. I think John's finished, I think Alsop's finished, and I think Oxu Zoglu has finished. Next up should be Gordon Jackson. Yeah, Gordon's over the line. Good job, man. Emmanuel Persson's next. He's pretty closely followed by Paul Nichols. I'll try and keep an eye on that. Okay, it looks like Emmanuel Persan just beat Paul Nichols to the line. From what I can see, next up will be T. Hoffman, followed by Paul Trill, then Keith Denton, then Catherine Denton. Those 25% sections, I feel like I'm getting, coming to a complete standstill. Oh, it's a very weird reading of the gradient there. 
it was showing us 18 and now 13%, but it all just went very loose for a second. Hoffman's got Paul Trilk very close to him, but I think he's going to hold him off. I think he has. I think he's done it. So well done, T. Hoffman. I think Paul Trilk's come over the line as well. Then we've got Keith D. A few hundred metres ahead of his wife, Catherine, who is nip and tuck at the moment with Kev Stephen. <laughs> Brian Roden wants to do it again. I don't think I ever want to do it again, I'll be honest. I was not in shape for this tonight. For whatever reason, just got no attack in me whatsoever. Right, I think in the real one, there's a car park here on the left. And it kind of signals the last sort of climb, then another left-hand turn right up to the pile of rocks on the summit. One of those ro rocks has got a WKG sticker proudly adorning it. Paul Trilk, yeah, I think we saw him come over. Keith D, just behind. Uh, Catherine's pretty much there now as well. 200 meters, I think, ahead of Steve, uh, Kev Steven. Then Sawway. We played a great game. Slowly, slowly, from the back. He's uh, not far off Kev. Kev's putting out good power now, though. He's charged to the line. He's going after Catherine. <laughs> Keith, wishing me well in the chat there. <laughs> not. The last time I rode up here, once again, I was plumb last. <laughs> and I could see all the lads waiting cheering me on which was nice there we go the summit oh my god does that go back up again please don't go back up again oh no oh yeah it's going up a little bit Oh my god, this has been absolutely brutal. <laughs> well done, John Grasso. Suddenly found three and a half, four watts per kilogram in his legs. Make sure I'm not coming back to him. Great stuff, man. How long we got? 300 meters, should I try for a sprint? I don't know if I've got it. I think John did. He did. Oh, seven hundredths of a second. Oh. 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 I don't know why I'm smiling. That was just horrible. Horrible. Oh, guys. Thank you all so much. <laughs> all I can do is giggle about it. It was just ridiculous. Well done, everyone. Every, everybody that finished ahead of me, which was everybody. Um, so yeah, dead last by seven hundredths of a freaking second. Well played, Mr. Grasso. That that made it really exciting at the end. Awesome stuff. Thank you, John, by the way, for continuing with this brilliant platform. Really loving RGT at the moment, and uh, getting the uh, the kits in game is just the the cherry on the icing on the cake. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. I hope you're all enjoying it. These Friday night races are fast becoming a real highlight of my week. Absolutely love it. That said. I won't be here next week. I'm probably not going to be doing any indoor cycling from now until about 10 days time because next Friday I will be embarking on my first ever bike packing trip for a few days so I need to have uh, full strength and not risk any kind of muscle injuries between now and then. I'm super excited about that but we're going to try and do an on-off system with these Friday races where every other week we will do the race that we did last week which was 11 times around the Canary Wharf crit race circuit which was absolutely brilliant 
So we're going to do that every other week, and then the in-between weeks we will do either a magic route like this or one of the hilly climbs. I mean, we've still got Vontu, Stelvio. We've done Formento, haven't we? There's another one. I'm forgetting. Uh, we've still got those to do as well as obviously a limitless number of magic routes that we can make, magic roads. So anyway, I'm going to stop prattling. My legs are shaking. My whole body's shaking now because my legs are shaking so much. Thank you all so, so much for racing. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll see you all on the next one.